In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove buzzing and static noise coming from your microphone on Windows 11. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is come to System and Sound. And in order to get here, just go to the search bar in the bottom and type in Sound and select Manage Input Sound Devices. Now, once you're here under Input, you should see your microphone and we're going to click on it. Now, the first thing I recommend you do is check for driver updates just to ensure that your microphone is running the latest drivers. Now, after you've done that, we're going to be messing with input volume, aka gain right here. Now, when it comes to microphones, especially cheaper ones, they are going to pick up all of the background noise in your room, whether it be your desktop, whether it be a PlayStation sitting on the same table, it is going to pick up everything and it will sound terrible. That is where you can get buzzing noises, cracking noise, staticky noise. So I highly recommend you experiment with the input volume. Sometimes less is more. So turning it down a little bit here. And if you're recording or whatever you have, you can always use filters to raise the gain again. But ultimately, try experimenting with this. It could be an easy fix just like that. Once you've done that, if your mic still doesn't sound good, I highly recommend experimenting with different USB ports. I've had plenty of experiences where I've used a microphone and it didn't sound that good. I'd get cracking and the audio gain was just kind of off. And then I'd try a different USB port and it'd work like magic. I'm assuming over time on PCs, some of the USB ports just kind of stop working as good as they once did when you first got it. Now, if you're still experiencing issues, buzzing, static, crackling, this could have to do with the actual CPU, which there is an easy fix. So when I got this microphone, it was around $300 and it didn't sound good. It was cracking and I was pretty upset with it, but there's actually an easy fix and it has to do with a driver called audiodg.exe. Now this is essentially from the Microsoft website. It's a file that hosts the audio engine for your operating system. Now, in order to take advantage of this, we're going to go to Project Lasso on Google, and this is going to bring you to a website. And what Project Lasso is, it's free by the way, it's a real-time CPU optimization and automation software. So you can download this for free, and essentially, you could do this without Project Lasso. I'll show you how to do it in a second. But once you've downloaded it, it's going to look something like this. Now, they do try and sell you the pro version, but you do not have to buy it. So you'll notice immediately if you've ever been on your task manager on your computer by pressing Control, Alt, and Delete, it looks pretty much like this. So I'm going to show you that right now real quick. So I pulled up Task Manager, and they pretty much look the exact same, right? It's because they are. Now, Project Lasso is great in the sense that you can set certain processes on this and it's not going to delete itself when you restart your computer. So from all processes up here, I want you to go to Active Processes and here is Audio DG. This is what we're going to change. So the CPU priority, change this, go to here and then select Always and go to High. So how I got here is I right clicked on audiodg.exe, CPU priority, always, and change to high. You can also do this on Task Manager. However, you'll have to do it every time you boot up your PC. If you download Project Lasso for free and you do it this way, it's going to automatically set it up every time so your microphone sounds great without having to change the audio priority on your operating system. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.